there friends welcome to another video in today's video i'm going to show you where you can find pepe's costumes there are a total of 14 costumes available in game as of the end of shadowlands we'll have to see what happens in dragonflight before we jump into anything i want to note because i didn't actually know this until i started filming this video is that all the cosmetics you acquire for pepe are only going to be on that one character if you want all of your characters to have these cosmetics, you're going to have to bring every single one of them onto the path of discovering all these cosmetics. It's kind of weird that it's not shared account, account wide, but so far that's just how it is right now. Also a disclaimer for this video is I actually do not have all of these cosmetics, so I will show you where you can get them. I just don't have the ability to acquire them at the moment. To get started, we are going to be in the Warlords of Draenor expansion. So make your way over here to Draenor. The first location we're going to go to is in the Spires of Ark. We are going to be down here at the bottom of the map. Once you've made it over here to this location, you're going to find some ruins and a kind of a bluish purple hydra. I guess it's more purple than blue. Behind him, you are going to find the pirate version of Pepe. Again, we're right here on the coastline inspires of arc just making sure you know where i'm at <laughs> there we go so go ahead and click him he'll end up popping on your head and an item will appear in your bag you just right click it and learn it now when you summon your pepe he will have a chance to have this cosmetic now i am going to note ahead of time that these are all random so once you learn them you can't pick it specifically of say Hey, today I want to have a pirate Pepe on my head. You might end up with your covenant Pepe. It's all random. Next, we're going to go next door over to Talandro. You're going to head to this location right here, and we are going to find the next Pepe cosmetic. All right, let's mount up and take flight. Once you get to this location, you're going to find these purple tents. Inside the purple tent, you're going to end up finding Pepe with a knight's helmet on. Just like before, you are going to click him and he'll end up putting the cosmetic in your bag. You just open your bag and you learn it. Now you have the random option for Pepe to show up with a knight's helmet. Just like before, we are going next door to Nagrand and you're going to want to head over here to the Rings of Trial. Once you're over there, you'll end up finding a Pepe that looks like a Viking. Now this Pepe is over here in this canopy area where there are some goblins dancing to some sweet, sweet tunes. So if you have any troubles with that, just turn up your volume in game and just try to find where the music's at and that's where you'll find Pepe. I think for this Pepe, it's super adorable that he has a shield with a little arrow pointing out of it. Wonder what he has been up to on his adventures. The fourth location here for Pepe, we are going to Gorgon, and here you will end up finding the Ninja Pepe, surrounded by a whole bunch of dead bodies, so I'm gonna guess he was doing some work. Just head on inside this tent and you will find Ninja Pepe sitting upon this chair like he owns the place. Now that we have the Pepes that are in Warlords of Draenor, let's jump to the next expansion and we're heading to Legion. You want to make your way over here to Dalaran in the Legion expansion. So this is going to be the Dalaran in the Broken Isles. You're going to end up seeing all these little dots on the map that I've put here for you. These are the spawn locations to find a Pepe wearing some goggles. It's actually pretty straightforward. He's just either outside or hiding inside maybe a few buildings. So just kind of wander around. You'll end up finding him pretty quickly. For me, I ended up finding him right outside the gem shop, so just kind of keep your eye peepers open and you'll end up finding him. Now there is a second cosmetic for Pepe here in the Legion expansion. If you have a demon hunter and you have unlocked their order hall, you can end up learning a Pepe that has these war glaives and kind of looks like you. Unfortunately, I do not have this, so we'll just have to have a picture for indication of what it looks like. Now we're going to jump expansions again, and we are going to head into the Battle for Azeroth. We're going to start off with the Alliance side, and we are going to be in Boralus. You want to head over here to this house in particular here in Boralus, and you will end up finding Pepe that ends up having a diving helmet. Now you can come over here if you are a horde, but it's going to be kind of a little bit of a challenge because there are guards everywhere, so if you're up for PvP, this definitely could be the place for you to end up going to acquire this Pepe. And I do want to make a side note that this lady is definitely living the life that I would love to have. I would love to have more cats. 
All right, now for the Horde side. On the Horde side, you want to head over here to Zaldazar and you want to come over to this location. You're going to have to go inside this shop and you'll end up finding Pepe with a cool voodoo mask sitting on top of the shopkeeper's tent. Now, in order to be able to click Pepe, you're going to have to jump on a few things to just get yourself up to the right level. But once you do, you have it. It's worth noting that there is definitely a lot more NPCs over here. So if you're coming here on an Alliance character, prepare for a fight in order to obtain this Pepe cosmetic. The third location for a cosmetic for Pepe is we are going to have to go to Mechagon. Now you're going to have to unlock this zone and there's also a few prerequisites in order for it to end up spawning for you to be able to learn it. You're going to have to unlock Mechagon's alternate future. To do this, you're going to have to obtain the personal time displacer. This is a random drop throughout Mechagon, so you're going to have to kind of work for that. I do not have one though. So I'll just end up going to the location and show you where the little Pepe costume will end up spawning for you. So again, you're going to want to come to this location here in Mechagon and he will end up spawning in this location. I don't have him, so we're just going to put a little photo in here to represent of this is what it would look like if he was here. <laughs> the finest editing the internet has to offer. Next, we're going to jump into the Shadowlands expansion. This one's pretty easy to do because all you need to do is get a covenant up to level 56. To start off, you have the Kyrian covenant level 56, which is a tiny pair of wings. This is what your Pepe will look like. Next, you have the Necrolords, a tiny vial of slime. Gives you this cool look for Pepe in a slime form. Next is the Night Fate, and they have a tiny winter staff. And this is what your Pepe will look like. And last but not least, you have the Venthyr and you get a tiny tombstone. And I kind of like this one the best, I think, out of the four because this honestly looks like Ben Halsing. Now, if you've been keeping count, that is actually only 12 Pepes. There are two more cosmetics, but you have to wait for in-game events in order to get them. During All Hollows End, you can get the Scarecrow version of Pepe. This will be on a tombstone inside your garrison. The last one on the list is going to be Pepe in a cool holiday hat that you can end up getting at the Feast of Winter Vale. You can end up finding Pepe sitting in the tree next to Grandfather Winter. And that's it. That's how you end up acquiring all 14 different looks for Pepe throughout World of Warcraft as of Shadowlands expansion. Now remember, like I said in the beginning of the video, in order for you to get these on every single one of your characters, you're going to have to do it on every one of your characters because it is not account wide when you learn these costumes. I'm hoping someday that they'll end up fixing that, but for now, that's just how it stands. Let me know down in the comment which Pepe outfit you think is the best. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make videos like this every week. Also, I've started streaming on Twitch, so if you're curious about that, go ahead and scope that out. Or not, it's your choice. Well, I look forward to seeing you in the next episode of opening Azeroth's toy box to see what's inside. Bye for now.